I'm going to demonstrate how to create a geodatabase, a feature data set inside the geodatabase, an empty feature class, and how to import an existing shape file into that feature data set. So I'm going to start with creating a folder. Okay, so I'm going to open the folder. There it is on my catalog tree and it's empty. If I click this, it shows that it's empty. Uh, right click my mouse, create a new file geodatabase. I'm going to name it, whoops, example. If I click it, uh, it lets me open it or it lets me rename it. I'm going to double click this to open it. In the catalog tree, I can see that it's in my file. I'm going to create a new feature data set. I'm going to call it example. And now I get to choose a geographic coordinate system or a projected coordinate system. I'm going to choose a state system for Oregon because I'm going to import some Oregon data. I want feet. I'm going to leave the vertical coordinates the same. I'm going to uh, default on the XY tolerance. So now I have a feature data set, a geodatabase. If I open this, my feature data set is empty because I don't have anything in there. So I'm going to do a couple things. One, I'm going to import an existing shape file. And I have to navigate to that file. And I'm going to name oops, schools. And I can see that it has a text field called name and a, a FIPS and identification code. I'm going to say OK. and it's working down here and so that's been imported um, I can preview those points I can look at the geography or I can look at the attribute table so there's the school names and I can look at the properties and I see that the projection is the same projection as the feature data set if I go to the original folder and look at the shape file and look at the projection, the projection is different. So by taking this shape file and importing it into my feature data set, my projection has been changed. If I import it here, let's just do that. and I look at the projection, the projection has not been changed. These are not in the same projection as the schools that are inside that feature data set. So it's really important to understand when you're importing material where it's actually going. So that's inside the feature data set, that's outside the feature data set. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so now I'm going to create an empty uh, feature class that I can later add points to or polygons to. So I'm going to call this, um, oops, sorry, I'm going to do new, file new feature class, and I'm going to call it school area, underscore, no spaces. I'm going to have it be a polygon feature. And I can set some uh, fields. So I'm going to call this school district. And it's going to have a text field. And I'm going to call, have another field call um, 
population. And maybe oh, da, 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 P, P, L, A, T, I, maybe this is the number of kids uh, that are in that school, and that'll be a short integer because I won't have decimals of kids. So now I have two feature classes inside my feature data set, schools, which has geometry, geography, and it has a table. And if I go back to school area and preview that, there's no geography. I haven't added any information yet, but the table's created. It shows me the fields that I'm going to use uh, to create that. 